I'd like to introduce Diane Beer. Diane is caregiver for David, her husband, who has an anaplastic astrocytoma diagnosed in 2002. She's run several full marathons and numerous half marathons to raise brain tumor awareness. She's also national coordinator for the National Walk to End Brain Tumors and the Central New Jersey Brain Tumor Marathon team. Please welcome Diane. And I forgot the beer joke. Ice cold. Ice cold beer. Like what you drink. Like what you drink is her website, right? Yeah. Ice cold beer, B I E R uh -huh. dot com. Here's Diane. Thank you. Thank you. I actually wish um, that we had a step stool because I feel like the podium is as tall as I am. Uh, just to give everyone a heads up, I do have some issues with the presentation. So if you wouldn't mind following along in the handouts, I would really appreciate it. So May is Brain Tumor Awareness Month. And we coordinate walks throughout the United States. Uh, this is 2011 was our second year. And in the, the first year and the second year, we have had walks in uh, 25 of the 50 states. My goal every year, and Al and Stan laugh at me, every year is a walk in every state. When I get a walk in every state, then I want two and three and four walks in all the states. So we will have a walk in every state, and we will raise the awareness and let people know the effects of this disease. So 2012 will be our third year. Um, and I would not be able to do this without all of the coordinators throughout the U.S. that have helped do this. Uh, one of the benefits of uh, working with Al has been the coordinators will, we have uh, volunteers, people that are either brain tumor survivors or caregivers or friends and family members of someone with a brain tumor that actually will coordinate a walk. And, um, in the two years that we've been doing this, we've raised over $100,000. And we can honestly say that 99.9% um, .9 of the money that we have raised has gone back into A, either research or the Brain Tumor Conference that you're attending today. Uh, so out of that money, the coordinators each get a vote as to what research projects um, are funded. So in year one, we funded a uh, pediatric cancer uh, research for uh, DIPG. And uh, in 2011, we funded um, a uh, trial for uh, University of Pittsburgh for uh, adult brain tumors, for um, cancerous brain tumors. So the money from the walk does go back into research. And it's really nice to be able to say that the coordinators have a vote in where the funds um, are spent and that almost 100% of the money raised goes back into research. Uh, we've been really lucky over the last couple of years to have um, sponsors to help us with the uh, insurance permits and for the cost of the t-shirts and some of the other miscellaneous expenses that we've had. Now just bear with me while I kind of turn around and look at this. Um, this particular, the, the graphics here are from the New Jersey Walk and that's because I had permission from everyone in New Jersey to use their picture uh, as opposed to going to all the coordinators in all the other states and trying to get um, permission to use all of those pictures. But you can see across the top that I've listed all the states that we've had walks in. And um, just a couple things that I want to point out. Any student that does help uh, with the walk uh, is able to receive uh, community service uh, awards or credits for their uh, time. And they can use those awards uh, or credits for their uh, college applications. So in the upper right hand corner you'll see what looks like three kids they're working the registration booth now they don't look like they're working they look like they're having more fun <laughs> than than working and in the upper left hand corner you can see that um we had a 10 year old girl who came and kicked off the walk this year for us and sang the national anthem we've had a radio station uh we've had first position come and uh, do uh, several dance performances just prior to the walk. In the lower right-hand corner, we do a reading of the names 
Um, this past year in New Jersey, we've read every name that we've been given. It did get um, kind of long. I think we had like seven or eight pages. So maybe next year we'll, you know, do some filters and maybe we'll start doing uh, a reading of the names in each of the states or something like that. Um, so this is from the New Jersey walk, and I know that many of the other states have had similar photographs and pictures and, and things like that. I do have a couple of coordinators in the room. They ask not to be mentioned, but I would like everyone here to please give them a big round of applause because they did a tremendous amount of work to get this off the ground and moving. The, Next event that I'd like to talk about is the Central New Jersey Brain Tumor Marathon team. Uh, we run the New Jersey Marathon. Uh, this was 2011 was our first year, and the marathon runs on the first Sunday in May. It's a great run because it's actually uh, uh, right along the boardwalk and on the beach, so it's a really nice run. Um, they have three events, a full marathon, a half marathon, and a half marathon relay, which is actually pretty cool because two people uh, will run six and a half miles each. And the one thing that many people don't realize is that you can walk a half marathon. So when people say, you know, oh my God, a half marathon, 13 miles, I can't do that, you can walk it. And um, some of the, the, the people that are on the marathon team are actually brain tumor survivors. We had at least one runner in every single event. So I had one person running a full marathon, I had several people that were doing the uh, half marathon, and I had two half marathon relay teams. Um, and if you just take a look at this, you'll see that it's either caregivers, brain tumor survivors uh, that did run the marathon. The other uh, couple of people that I would really like to mention is that we would not be able to have completed the marathon events, us runners, if it had not been for the supporters that we had around the course throughout the day. So it was really nice as you were running either your 13 or your 26 miles to see people that were wearing the exact same shirts that we were when we were running. So Stan and Megan and Victor and Mom and Mickey and, and other people that are not here, we would really like to thank you for being there for us that day. And on our first year out, this past year in May, we had 15 runners on the team and we raised over $5,000. So I thought that was great for um, the first year. And I know some of you are going to laugh when I say this. So for 2012, I'd like to have 50 runners for our team, all wearing brain tumor shirts and telling everybody, you know, look at what this does. We're out here. We're here. We exist. Um, so we're, I'm going to try for 50 this year. We'll see what we get. I'll be happy with 25, but I'm going to shoot for 50. And just bear with me as I get to the next slide. Oh, one thing I'd like to point out on this slide, um, I, I'm going to take some bragging rights since I do have the podium at this particular moment in time. The upper right-hand corner, the little girl that's running, okay, she is my daughter. She was nine at the time, and she ran the half marathon event. So you can see that she's mid-stride and off the ground, and when Stan took this picture and I saw it, I absolutely loved it because I had just told her, Sarah, there's the finish line, and she had about a half mile to go. She saw the finish line and said, I'm gone, and she was gone. <laughs> the next slide that I'd like to talk about is under our hats. The under our hats uh, project, what we do is we go into various schools and organizations, and the children will wear a hat for the day, and they will pay a dollar to wear the hat, and the funds raised from that particular program go into uh, the Musella Foundation specifically for pediatric brain cancer or uh, brain tumor research funds. So that's a, another um, project that we have going. And then on the last slide in your uh, presentation, package is um, other fundraising options. So there's lots of other things that you can do to raise awareness. And you don't need to be a runner to um, go out and run a marathon to raise awareness. Uh, you can walk in an event. You can have a golf outing. 
Um, there's Flo's Chili Cookout, and Tanya, who is sitting over there, has an event coming up in uh, November in Cleveland. So if any of you happen to be in uh, the Cleveland area, please make sure you go and see uh, her event. And then on the last slide, what I'd like to do is just leave you with this, is two years ago, we didn't have any walks. Uh, in May that we were really coordinating and, and really pushing to raise the awareness. Uh, two years later, we've had walks in 25 states. We have a marathon team. We have under our hats and other organizations and other people are working to raise awareness also. So Margaret Mead said it best, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. So we may be small, but we are absolutely mighty. And what I'd like to close the conference with is, I know many of you have um, long drives and the weather is not uh, all that wonderful at this particular uh, moment in time, but be positive and uh, keep your focus and continue to go forward and stay positive. Thank you. Get home safely, everybody, and thanks for coming out. <laughs>